So after more than 25,000 views on the best settings for the Goofy TV Backlight T2, a lot of questions that they've been repeated constantly, I decided to do this video where I show you how I position this camera on the bottom of my TV, even if I have a Sony A95K, what is the stand that I'm using and all the questions that you've been doing on that video that like I said have more than 25,000 views. So I think a lot of you guys have the same question. So if you want to know everything about it, stay tuned after the intro. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love tech and if you love discounts, this is the place for you because everything that you see here have links on the description below. And today we are going to talk a little bit more about the Goovy TV Backlight T2, a product that has been really well received by you guys and you've been doing a lot of questions because of the way that I position my Goofy TV Backlight T2. I was not having the best results with the camera on the top. On this video, I'm not going to show you the settings. So if you want to see that, that's the other video. Today, we are going to talk about how to position this camera properly on your TV when you want to put it on the bottom. And if you are here just for that, I will recommend you to just go on the description. I'll put a timestamp where you can jump forward. But if you have also a lot of questions similar to the questions that I've been receiving on that video, I'll answer in a more detailed way. So in that way you can see if this product is for you if you don't have purchase or maybe to improve the quality and the color accuracy that you take out of this camera. So the first question was, I notice a blue sky often gives a purple light. Could it be improved? And the problem is yes and no. So the first thing we need to understand that Goovy, when we talk about uh, the color uh, and the color calibration, you just have a bar or you are closer to blue colors or you are closer to red colors. By default is really, really red this one. So you need to push in direction to the blues. Obviously we need to understand that every television is different and also the calibration is really important in this. So obviously I have a Sony A95K and if you want to know what is the best settings for a Sony TV, I also have done a video about that. So definitely check that video out. But if you have another brand, you need to do a proper calibration. Another thing that I'll say that is important is about the amount of light that goes inside that room. So if you are seeing television during the day, you need to be able to basically have blackouts on your windows to allow less light going directly to these cameras. Something that I recommend is also always see if your cameras are clean because remember, if you are going to set it up this camera like I've done on the bottom, and we can talk a little bit more once again why I've done that. But if you do that, remember you have more dust going to your camera. So definitely often clean them so you will have a better result. Can you really take out that purple effect on the skies? I don't think so. If you've done a proper calibration, you are in a dark room and you've done the proper settings like I explained, I really doubt that you'll have better results with that. If you want to try to reduce the purple, try to pull a little bit more to the blues or if it's too blue, pull a little bit more to the reds, but there is not much more that you can do. Do you recommend buying this or are the lights distracting? And I have to say that it depends on how you set it up your Goovy TV Backlight T2. So in my case, I have saturation in 1% and I have brightness in 40%. So if you have too much light coming from the back of the TV, they will overtake your screen. But if you calibrate in a way that the lights are there, but they are not so intense as the image that is passing on your screen, you will definitely have a better result. If the light, or in this case, if the colors, they match with the screen, also is like an enhancement. It feels like your TV is much, much bigger. The screen, or in this case, your room where you are seeing television, it, it feels bigger. So I don't think that is distractive if you do the right calibration and if you use the right amount of, of brightness on your Goofy TV Backlight T2. The next question is, I have my TV in a corner of a room, so I'm concerned how it will work and it's not on the wall. And I have to say to you guys that if you saw my videos, my TV is on a corner and is also not on the wall. I have on the stand that I really like it, that I purchased separately, and it works much, much better in my opinion than the original stand of the Sony A95K. There are leaves on the description below. My TV is on the corner. I don't think that that will give you any problems. I 
I think also that if your TV is not on the wall is better because the light have more area to travel through I will definitely prefer that the TV is not on the wall if it's on the wall I think it will work fine but the light will not spread as much if it makes sense if I place the camera at the bottom can it be about 70 millimeters from the bottom of the TV and about 100 millimeters away from the screen and I'll have to say yes you can but I don't think that you are going to get the best results so the reason for that is when more far away your camera is from the light source weaker will be the light reaching the cameras if also is further away you will have more chances that other lights can interfere and other colors can interfere with your camera if you are like me and you have other backlights and stuff happening on your room that can be a problem because you'll have more chances that for example you have a backlight in purple or something that can invade one of the cameras and affect the color grading if you want you can try but i don't think that this will be beneficial remember that this camera was tested to be on top of your television so what i'll recommend is basically that is just touching the bottom of your tv and it will be as far as this in that way you have better chances to have a better color grading if I don't like the light moving with a camera can I just forget the camera and use them as a static color and I have to say yes you can do that but you have options on the market they are much much cheaper than the Goofy TV Backlight T2 so if you want just a bit of light on the back of your TV you have plenty of things that you can do even just buying like a strip light and put it on the back of your TV much much cheaper than buying the Goofy TV Backlight E2 if you are buying this is because you want the gaming features you want the movie features even the music features if you do some parties at home and stuff like that buying just to have a static light on the back I think is not worth it or maybe you can even buy just a strip light that you put on the back of your TV stand and it's going to give you that backlight effect that you are searching so if it's for that yes you can do with a Goofy TV Backlight E2 but I don't think that is worth it what is the simplest way to turn the lights on and off a part of the switch that comes with it one of them is using for example a Google Assistant my TV is a Sony A95K I have Google Assistant on the TV and normally when I'm turning off my TV I say hey Google turn off living room lights and it will turn off not just my Goofy TV backlight T2 but it's turning off everything else and I have plenty of LEDs on my living room the other way that is the next one that I'm going to do I have here the Eve dot and window that I'm going to do the full review really really soon on the channel I'm going to install this one even if I have other door sensors but this one have thread so I want that is just faster and I think is very very interesting so this one is another product that I'm going to review really soon on the channel if you want to see it definitely don't forget to subscribe if you set it up this you will be able to just close your living room for example and turn off all the lights of your living room so if you want to turn off and on quickly you can do that if you often close your living room otherwise you can just use Google Assistant or HomeKit or obviously Alexa can I set Alexa to auto shut off and on when the TV is switch on and off and at least for my experience first of all I don't use Alexa I use Google Assistant and HomeKit but I don't think that you can do that it was possible to do for example with the LYTMI Neo Fantasy 3 they are also review on the channel and I've done a direct comparison with the Goofy TV Backlight T2 but I didn't find a solution or a, a way to make it turn on when I turn on the television so have that in mind but you can set it up times and all those stuff and obviously you can control this with Google Assistant or Alexa the next question was related with gaming and this person basically plays a game that the colors they are not really really vibrant and he wants more color and you can do that by increasing the saturation or the brightness because when you increase the brightness on your Goofy TV Backlight T2 it will automatically increase the saturation of your light but uh, if you do that they can overpower your screen so have that in mind but if you want to do that you don't need to search for another tutorial just follow mine and increase saturation or brightness or both 
depending on your needs and on your preference. So the next question is related with the calibration and if I need to use the orange squares to calibrate my camera and uh, if so what's the process for it do i need to flip my phone around yes you'll need them i'll explain in the end of the video how you do that one of the squares the one that is on the middle in opposite to be on the bottom you are going to put on the top but don't worry i will explain in the end of the video how you do a proper calibration in my own way my back wall is a dark blue would you suggest not pushing the color calibration as far i have to say to you guys that I don't think that this will really affect. What will affect is if you have a darker color, you have less tendency that the light will spread. So if you have like a black, it normally absorbs majority of the, the colors and the light. So you'll not have the best results. But I don't think that changing where you are going to set it up, your calibration is going to affect because you have a blue background or a red background or whatsoever you are going to have results but they will not be so impressive if you had a white background or like a cream a beige background like i have here or on my living room how do you perform the camera calibration with the camera on the bottom don't worry i'll explain in the end of all these questions i have some problems when the screen is full black and the strip light shows blue how to fix it first of all is it on the top is it on the bottom because for me, that makes a lot of difference. If you put it on the bottom, you normally will get straight away better results. What is the distance of your camera and the television? Have you have set it up like I have? Maybe it's a little bit further away and that will also affect the quality of your calibration. Try to do a new calibration because sometimes you can not calibrate properly. So do it again and see the end results. If you are doing all this correctly, anyway, you have like a blue light on the backgrounds of your living room that also can affect your calibration. But in the end of the day, you'll never have a pure black scene. So don't expect that the screen is, is all black and will completely shut down. You'll continue to have some light on the background and is never going to be completely, completely clear. Also remember about the calibration of your TV like we talked before because that can also influence the end results of your camera on the Goofy TV Backlight T2. I have the LG C2 on a stand. I don't think putting it on the bottom will work because of the way the stand is. Like I said before, I have a Sony A95K. The original stand doesn't allow you to put a camera on the bottom. I have changed that, changing the stand for something else that I'll leave on the links on the description below. And if you are not happy with the stand of your LG, you can do that like I've done it. It's not really expensive. I found it even quite cheap, to be honest, and you'll have a better result. I never like it really, the stands of LG, because they are very wobbly if you touch the television. So if your problem is your stand, just buy another one and you have your problem solved. Somehow I can get my white color correct. No matter what I do, is either too much green or too much blue. I can do the white color, something is wrong with my calibration. Like I said, starts with the calibration of your TV. If your TV is not calibrated properly, don't expect to have the best results with your Goofy TV Backlight T2. After that, put the camera the, the closer as possible, like I said already multiple times during this video. See if you have other lights, they are interfering. See if you have some ref other parts that can reflect light directly to the camera, like I used to have when my camera was on the top because my stand is like pure glass. So it was reflecting back to the camera. And for that reason, the bottom part of my Goofy TV Backlight T2 was not working. So have that in mind and you should be good to go. Try to do after, obviously, you calibrate once again your TV, try to calibrate again your Goofy TV Backlight T2, follow these steps and I think you'll have better results. Saturation in the minimum 1% and the brightness 40%. So the next question is, I have a LG TV, should I use the same settings that you are using on yours? And I have to say, yes. The only thing that I'll maybe doing a little bit different with LG's TVs is the amount of brightness that I want with this um, Goofy TV Backlight T2. Remember that the LG screens, they are not as bright as the Sony ones, at least until the C2. That can interfere how immersive is your experience. So if you find that, once again, the lights, is, they are overtaking your TV, I will bring the brightness down. If you are thinking they are not bright enough, I'll bring them just slightly up. But remember, when higher is your brightness, more saturation they get, more distracted they get, and less accurate they are with your TV. 
So now let's jump on the living room and I'll show you how I do my calibration with my Sony A95K and the Goofy TV Backlight T2. So the first thing that you want to do is to put your orange squares on your television. Do it with your television turned off because at that way you'll know where is the beginning of your screen. It's much, much easier to install than if you have obviously your TV on. When we talk about this one and the one on the bottom, the one on the bottom, you really don't need to put it because it's next to your camera. So the one that you really need to put is this one on the top that on the way that Goofy says to you to do is to put it here on the bottom. And since the camera is on the bottom, you will have to put the one on the top or if you want, you can put the nine pieces in place. As you guys can see inside your box, you'll have this foam and here is missing a bit. That bit I have installed here on the back. So in that way, the camera is completely flush with the television, like if it was on the top. If you want extra stability, you can put another bit in here. So in that way, the camera will have no chances to move on. If you need more foam and if you need that is even higher, if you don't have something like I have here with my Sony HTA9, you have plenty of foam to set it up your Goofy TV Backlight T2. So like I said previously, my stand is pure glass. And so if you have the same issue as me, you will need to always set it up your camera from the bottom. This is the stand that I installed on my Sony HTA9. The benefit is you can obviously set it up a few things on the bottom, like my Nintendo Switch and um, you'll be able to have some of the light coming from the bottom, making it more immersive and it seems that the screen is floating. After you go to your app, you go here in settings, you go to camera calibration, you wait until you see the image of your screen, turn off, and you are going to align these dots with the orange squares. When you finish this, what you need to do is you need to come into settings, lights installation, light strip installation direction. And as you can see, the camera on the drawings is on the top. So what you need to do, you need to rotate, see how it's installed. In the case of my TV is installed like this, in this direction. So this is the first, second, third, Forward, and the camera is on the bottom so that's the, the one that I'm going to select and I confirm and your installation is all done and this is the way that I set it up my Goofy TV Backlight T2 on the bottom of my Sony A95K if you have any questions feel free to leave on the comments below my name is Marco this is Matt Peck if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to the channel comment below smash the thumbs up do whatever you want but always with a smile on your face and I hope to see you in the next one